guys this is Amy you are watching health focus with Amy welcome back again and if you've not joined us if you've not joined us I don't know where you are this is the platform where we talk about everything health all careers health equipment conditions and every single thing you will imagine and if you have anything you want us to address comment down below if you've not subscribed yet click here down here if you've not started watching us really you are late today is a very special day we have a very uh, how do you call it when you go to a health facility you will find uh, uh, somebody is being said they're in ICU then every time you hear ICU you just get shocked or you get depressed we are here with a very experienced nurse who has walked through the journey of becoming a junior nurse to ICU level specialist at ICU facilities let's hear what the journey is all about Welcome back again. I have I have brought him. He's here. Let's hear. What is your name? My name is uh, Simon Dugamo. Mm -hmm. uh, a critical care nurse mm -hmm. uh, for the last almost twenty years now. Wow. Yes. Wow. Twenty years you've been a critical care nurse, or twenty years you've been in nursing. Twenty years I've been nursing. In nursing. Uh, yes, in nursing. Oh, uh, let's let's get to here where you grew up, where you went to school, and and up to the age you felt you want to do nursing. Okay, um, I enrolled in a lower primary school in 1982. Okay. 1982, mm -hmm. and then uh, I was able to finish my 844, uh, that is standard eight, class eight, on uh, 19, 1989, mm -hmm. 1990. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Then I joined the high school, that is from 1991 to 1994. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I was able to now, uh, I did not manage to join the campus at you, that particular You've time. taken us so fast. Mm. In primary, where were you in school? Uh, in primary, I was uh, in a primary in the rural setup called the Moritoko Primary School. What is Moritoko? Moritoko is near Embu, mm -hmm. it's Bodas Embu, that mm -hmm. is near uh, Bodas Embu. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Embu is found in central Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Embu is in central Kenya. Um, and that particular time, I said to myself that the struggle my parents have been, mm -hmm. and also the, uh, the me myself not wearing shoes, going to school without shoes, even to start at eight, I only managed to wear uh, a pair of shoes when I was, was finishing standard eight. And it is me who bought my, myself. Where did you get the money? I just hustled, uh, hustled in, the, uh, hey. in the village. Yeah? And uh, to make the matter worse, the, the pair of the shoe I bought. I bought it from Embu Town, and I did not wear it in Embu Town. I had to go to the village. And now on Sunday, I had to wear it. Oh, unfortunately, it did not fit me. Oh, no. It did not fit me. So, <laughs> oh, no. I did not help Minda a return to the, to the main market. So where did the shoe go? I had now to cut it, and to cut it in front so that it can fit me. Oh no. Yes. Why did it fit though? You see, uh, sometimes the rule of uh, the, the, village in, the village in people, <laughs> the village which was in myself, it could not have made me to fit the shoe. To, to, the shoe. to the other thing, uh, uh, mentorship, mentorship is very important. Because you see, like now I decided I wanted to have a pair of shoes, but nobody who told me this is what you're supposed to do. So I was doing my, with my own initiative. So uh, when you were in primary school, did we have other kids who had shoes? In that, in that locality? Yes. No. So it was, it was normal not have shoes? It was, it was normal. Okay, you cleared class 8. Yes. Then after that, uh, I was able to join a uh, high school uh, mm -hmm. in a secondary school called uh, Kamuiru High School. Mm -hmm. And I... Yeah, Still in Meru? No, 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 in Kerowea. In in mm -hmm. uh, but it molded me, but I don't think the school itself, eh, it molded me as to what I, would be, I wanted to be. Mm, what did you want to be? I wanted to be a doctor. Okay. I wanted to be a doctor. Why a doctor? Why? Because I, I wanted to be My father died because of the liver cirrhosis. Uh -huh. um, father died because of the liver cirrhosis when I was a young boy. Even I cannot be able to recognize his face. So, wow. because of that, eh, I decided to be able to be a, to, to do a doctor. And I thought if I, I can be able to help someone else. 
in the case. It's true, but there are so many careers in healthcare that you could have chosen apart from being a doctor, or you didn't know them. I wanted my I wanted to be able to do the doctor. I knew teaching is there, engineering is there, but I wanted to be able to be a doctor mm -hmm. so that I can be able to help life, to save life. Or what I meant is that in, in being in, in being healthcare, yeah, there are so many careers in healthcare. Yes. Medicine, mm. nursing, yes. physio, yes. laboratory, yes. radiology. Yes. Did you know about them or you just knew doctor is the career in For me I only knew doctor. Okay. I do not know any other any, any other thing. So had you known another thing, you could have started wondering, or I do radiology, or I do lab, or I do something else. No, I would still go for a doctor. Okay. Yeah, I All would right. still go because you see now I lost my father, and I thought if I can be able to do medicine, I can also I maybe I might be able to help another life in okay. in the future. All right. So I did not do well, though throughout the the high school, I was rated the best, number one, number two. But the school I was the reason I think that it is did not mold me well. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of strikes. One okay. time you can be able to have a strike in high school. In high school, like twelve in a in a term. Twelve in a term. I remember there was a family friend who was a deputy principal in a nearby school who had recommended me to be shifted from that school. To another school in Kangaroo Boys High School, but my parent, the, uh, my parent said, eh, because also she was traveling. Even she was not the one who was paying for me. It's my, my brothers. Father had long yes, it is my brothers, eh, and also they were struggling. So they said the the essence of education at this particular time is only for me to be able to get the certificate. Wow. So you see now, what I got, I got a C plus, but I. I don't think if I was in a better school, that is what I could have. Which was that? That is 1994. I thought 1994 people were going straight to campus. No. no. I was not picked. No, and, and also, it was not, you are not going to go to straight to the campus. But I thought by the year 1994, the class of C plus people were going to campus though. Yes, but. Because I remember to our village people went mm, to campus. But I did not go. All right. I don't know whether I mentioned that opportunity or what happened. Think... Or what happened. But you see now, if there is no, as I'm still going to say, if there is nobody who is mentoring you yeah, you or really is guiding you, you cannot be you able to know what, you what, to are, uh, what are the things which are surrounding you. So I think uh, that is what happened. So you clear form four. You have that great life is here. Life is here with me now. I have to survive, mm -hmm. and I still don't want to go back to the, the problems no, I faced. Problems. So what did I do? Uh, I started, uh, I, my brother who is an uh, older brother than me, he, he is a carpet. So he told me instead of staying at home, we can be able to join the, uh, the construction industry. Mjengo. Mjengo. So I can Then after that, um, I stayed there for a number, almost six months. I became even a... Uh, the foreman, the foreman, the foreman, the foreman. <laughs> yeah. eh? the yeah, foreman. Yeah. Mm. Then after that, my brother, the oldest brother, works in a health facility. I was picked. You applied? No, he... Or you I had talked? I talked and then I submitted my papers and then I was picked and I was present in a theater. I was supposed to be working in a theater. Wait, no, you know you are going so fast. Yes. You are working at Amjengo, you finished Form 4. Yes. And now you are going to work. You were yes. not going to school. No, I did not go to school. What are you going to do in, in the hospital? In theater, then I was placed in, in theater to assist doctors, surgeons in St. Jack. But you are not trained. Yes, I did not. The, the hands on. You see, sometimes what happens when it comes to the training, we have different modes of training. Trainings, I can be able to see observation. You observe. I see you practice under supervision, and then I, I started. Me, allow me address the nursing council curriculum developers kindly. You see, the way nursing is being, uh, I don't know, looked how, is because somebody else can be picked from high school and be told, come, I train you. Then why should a nurse go through three and a half years of training if somebody can be picked from the village or at home to come and learn 
why will I do anatomy? I think this is a gap that uh, who controls the curriculum of nursing training? Who, who, who controls the training of nursing in this country, Kenya? I think this is something that needs to be addressed so that we, we really we really align that nobody should just come and, and work in a health facility. Because I think up to now something like that might be happening. Yes, I do think it might be happening. Might be yes, happening. Yes. You, you got called to the hospital to work? Yes. You went to theatre? Yes. How was your experience? My experience was that um, I met few, uh, one man and one female, whereby they orientated me. And uh, the orientation they did is not that they had been trained. They had also been learning, learning on job. We call it learning wait, on job. Wait, the man you got and the woman you got, uh, were they, they were working like nurses? Like data technicians, not nurses. Like theater technicians. So you know to be a called a nursing license. But but theater technicians when they are on duty, even without training, they do roles that a nurse has trained them. Yes, in. yes, yes, yes. They trained you. They trained me, they mentored me. And I remember the first time the first time uh, I gowned myself, I don't we call it Tony. Mm. I don't and we are supposed to be able to do a Sicilian section. Oh god. I think it was the second, the, the, the first week. Did you have a qualified nurse then? In that theater? Yes, there was a qualified nurse. Whose role is management? In management. The rest of the team is theater technicians? Theater technicians. Theater Who are not trained. Who are not trained at that No license. Oh God. Uh -huh. So now, uh, I did my doning. That the doning is putting on them those style of girls. Mm. Then after that... Did you even know the way you done properly? Yes, I thought I knew. I thought I knew. But now, after getting training, you yeah, I know, I know, I know. I did not need to do the right thing. So now, I was already on the theater table. I was now assisting. Assisting. By now, the surgeon, I had forgotten to don the gloves, the sterile gloves. Exactly. I was, I was on the, uh, I was already on the table without touching instrument. I almost touched the instrument and started giving the surgeon. I was having the gown, but I did not have the. But I don't blame you because, because again, the training of nursing really instills this in you. But you are not trained, and they are, your trainer had not been trained. Yes. So, um, then from there, they started training me. I worked there for quite a number of, uh, number of uh, years, almost one year. Then I said no. I started uh, reading anatomy and physiology. Because now makes sense, like you felt like yes, I, need I started now uh, learning, reading the books on nurses, mm -hmm. uh, anatomy and physiology. Louis and Wilson, if you know, I if know. you know it. I know. Then after that, so that my intention was to be able to join nursing. So I, when did you drop me? Okay, now the fact that you didn't go to campus just removed that ability yes. to go. And then only I cannot be able to. I, can, I even I cannot be able to do the parallel degree yeah, you can't because afford. my parents cannot, cannot you can't be able afford. to afford that. So I decided to start reading anatomy and physiology. Then after that, because I knew the reason for I started reading the anatomy and physiology is in preparation to nursing school. To nursing school and for the interview. Before we go to nursing school, your work as an a theater technician. Mm. Now that you are a qualified nurse, yes. do you realize like there's some medical errors you could have done that now you ask yourself really? Yes. Yes. So many. Yes. 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 Because sometimes. Uh, if you are ready to train, I am going to think critically. I'm going to be able to think critically, yes. and then I see this is an emergency. Yes. This is an emergency. When we're doing this surgery, it's an emergency. I need to follow the IPC protocols, principles, exactly. to be able to prevent the surgical site infections, which are occurring more, especially for the people who are not doing the, those procedures and they are not following the IPC protocols. So you find the patient are going to be done surgery, and then they go to the ward, they get infections. Then you find that the mortality increases, an extra dollar for the relatives. Eh? At the end, you lose this patient. I'm already depressed. You lose this patient. But you if it is done by a qualified personnel, well trained with good skills, good psychomotor skills, you find the outcome is better in comparison with somebody who is not going to school. It's sure. my medical school. Sure, sure, sure. So for me, I'm able to say you need to be able to, to be trained to do any uh, activity, especially in theatre. And again, to help administrators and health workers and all those managers in those facilities, 
you can't go wrong in investing in qualified yes, human resources. Yes, yes, yes. You can never go wrong. Fine, you finish Kusoma Anatomy, you finish... I went, yes, I applied uh, Consolata School of Nursing, which is in Nyeri. Mm -hmm. I went and did my interview, I was the best, I was mm -hmm. picked, and uh, that is uh, in 1998. Wow. 1998. You went for first year? The first year. Um, I finished the physiology, BTS class, second year, third year, fourth year, and I qualified with a... Uh, uh, good grade, that is a credit, mm -hmm. and then after that, that is 2-1. So, you went to medical school after an experience, uh, yes. so your work was quite a walkover. It was a walkover. Your experience, there was nothing that was shocking you in nursing school. Uh, no, no. But you are the tutor now. Yes. You are the mentor to the students. Yes. I was telling you that you are supposed to do like this, you are supposed to do like this. So, how did you raise your school fees and, and, and were you going back to your working area to kind of um, the holidays? My pay was 1,800. But it, it was, was a lot those days. It was 1,800 and um, because of working extra hours as a, as a theater too. on locum or also on call, we were being under the 500. So it was coming 2,200. You know, I'm looking at it like an untrained theatre technician, Kamnas, is going for call. Yes. But you're working with a surgeon. Yes. So my salary was 2,200. And then I was able to, to save for that period one year. I was able to save, I think, uh, my first year we were supposed to pay 55,000. And I was able to save uh, 27,000. Mm -hmm. And remember, being a man, and you need to marry, you need to marry. I had saved that builder a small wow. house, which is still there at the moment, in my village. Wow. That's, that's, that's wisdom. So I had to pay for my school fees, 27,000. And you see now, because already I'm coming from the village, you have to go now in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the college. I have to look presentable. I have now to buy shoes, I have to buy nice clothes. And you're on your own? Yes. Then my brothers, when I went in, I had to be sent home now and then in the college mm -hmm. for film. But my brothers were there for me. Mm -hmm. They were able to, one of them, they were able to take care of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember even after finishing the college, I did not clear the school fees. I had to go back, work, work and work. go back. Mm -hmm. You so worked in I worked again no, no, not in another facility oh. so that I can be able to come and pay the balance, fee balance, and then I get my certificate. certificate. Wow, it was tough. Yes. You cleared your nursing? I cleared my nursing. You went now it's another it's another now yeah. difficult situation. It is. Uh, I was called upon by another friend and nurse to be able to work in a certain clinic in Larumoro. Narumoru is where? Still is in, in Nyeri? As you are going towards Nanyuki. Oh, that's still central. Uh, like Kipia. Okay. Uh, this is a nurse. I have just finished school. Is now employed in a clinic. No experience. You have an experience of theatre, I mean. You no, 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 no. no, no, no. But you are not a nurse. Yes. Because but all those things you are doing were quacky. It's quacky. Really? Allow. Healthcare in Kenya, kindly patients, when you walk into a facility, can you check yourself into a proper facility? It's, healthcare is expensive, and you know why it's expensive? Training is expensive, equipment are expensive, sustaining healthcare things is quite expensive. That's why healthcare is expensive, and I, I hope that the government will do something, like something needs to be done urgently. So that works. Yes. <laughs> stop practicing. Yes. Really, really. No. <laughs> Okay. So I was working in a clinic alone. And I was fresh to... graduate. Yes. Well, how were you handling emergencies? I could be able to assess this an emergency and then it differ. I can be able to assess already. Remember I've been trained for the four years. And remember when I was in it's not the same. remember when I was uh, uh, when you were being trained, eh? when you are for the year, oh, you are very senior, senior staff, so you can be able to manage staff. the whole hospital. Mm -hmm. So this particular time I'm giving myself the courage. I can be able to refer I can be able to refer this patient. 
But I still found that I'm still doing injustice. Injustice to the patient. Yeah, to the patient. True. So uh, by then I thought I need to to quit for yes. self employment and to look for another job for me to be able to get Such better so. experience and also patient nurse satisfaction. So from there uh, I almost I had already married. Married and then found now because what I'm getting here, I was being paid by that particular time, I was being uh, paid six thousand. Cheap labor. Yeah, six thousand because already they remember it's a cheap labor. Cheap labor. Six thousand. And you remember I have a family here. Can't mm -hmm. Then after that I decided now I have to leave her. Go on tarmac. And me to go on tarmac. I was employed in a Mary uh, help of the sick. Garadiga. Yes. Here in the room, Nairobi. in the room room now. When I was being paid uh, from six thousand now, I'm being paid a salary of uh, eleven thousand. Hmm. I found it's it's an increment five thousand. But you ran. Uh, five five thousand. <laughs> but it's in Nairobi now. I, I, you did think about. I do not have even a bank to, to keep my money. My money was in a, in a. I used to keep my money yes. in the, in, the, in the house. So I could find even my wife when she comes and we are ordered 40,000 and 40,000. <laughs> you go to the supermarket and we buy any, anything you want. Wow. But despite that, I was man, man, made the manager of that hospital. They increased me with the 2,000. So I was getting 13,000, 13, which was enough money because I did not have any objective of the future. Mine was only to feed. But you're still young. Though. Yes, it was only to feed, mm. to feed and enjoy myself. Mm. Then after that, I realized no. There's something dissatisfaction. Yes, I'm not very satisfied. I started, I applied in, when I was still in Garariga, I applied for, to do psychology, degree in psychology for five years. And I applied in KU, Kenyatta University. And I was taken, and I started and I paid. By the cost of, why, why psychology? Because I, because, because I, I, I wanted now, I wanted to do, Something, eh? Something. Just something. Something. I, 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 something. I just wanted to run. I just wanted, I, I want to. I wanted to just to run. So I applied in, uh, psychology. I was taken. I st I went to KU. I started training, but I found I think we were supposed to be. Paid. I was supposed to go for five years, but I had already paid. Had they, did they consider your diploma? Mm, I don't think so. I did not. It's like a parallel degree, like from four to university. Yes, yes. So I had to go for five years, and I was to be paying hundred thousand. I think hundred thousand per year. It's a parallel degree. Yeah. So and I had paid hundred thousand. But now, because of commuting from Remuru to Nairobi to KU, mm -hmm. I found my life might be on risk. Because remember, I was supposed to be attending the evening classes, so I was that supposed to go crazy. back. Because remember during the day I went to work and then I went to go evening, evening classes and then come back. I found I cannot be able to cope with this because of the, the training is expensive and, and I cannot afford the risks. So by then I had applied, I thought now I'm going to apply for yes. critical care now. Nobody who told me about the critical care, but I just so decided you were just now. I decided now I'm going to defer. I deferred the course. I deferred the course. The papers are in the mail. <laughs> I deferred the course because I found I cannot cope. Then after that, I decided now from now I'm going to do the critical care. So why critical care? Why I decided to do the critical care because when I was in that facility, I could be able to get a critical patient. But I could not be able to handle the emergency. But there is critical care, there is accident emergency. So why critical care? I found, you see, when you do a critical care, a critical care, I'm not saying that, you know, people they call us, I see us as small doctors. Yeah. And but when you have done um, a critical care, you are going to be trained on how to handle the trauma. You are going to handle a um, myocardial infection, which is an emergency. You are going to be handled how to respiratory emergencies. 
So you have an accident emergency, you'll handle them. But okay, for continuity, accident emergency handles and refers to critical. Refers, uh, they are going to handle the, those cases and refer to ICU. So I thought when I do an ICU course, I can be able to handle the emergency cases. The same time, I can also be able to to do further uh, further trainings in relation to ICU in comparison to mm. accident and emergency. So I have a wider range of options in ICU nursing than in other. I'm not saying that the accident and emergency is not okay, but what I'm saying is that uh, the critical care uh, it, it opens you, gives you other opportunities to venture in your in your career. And the, the, the two fields are totally different. Yes. As, like me, I enjoy accident emergency. You cannot take me to critical care. Yes. And and him, he's so critical care. So yes. this 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 these things are personal. Yes. Personal. Like you, this is what I want. Yes. So you apply for critical care with school? Uh, KMTC, Campus Nairobi. Nairobi. Yes, I was picked. Mm -hmm. And we was we were supposed to join by September 2005. Mm -hmm. But there was an issue. But the the government was the MTC was giving priority to the health sectors who are working in the health uh, personnel the government, who are working in the government. government. So even me, I was closing my fingers hoping I'm going to be picked. Mm. God did. The class changed. Instead of September, it, it was March. March. And you see now already these the, the nurses... 2006. 2006. Yeah? And now this, uh, these uh, staffs, yeah? already some of the government facilities, yeah? I think they had eaten their money. So I got them that opportunity. I was called. What do you mean eating money? Hmm? They had eaten school fees. I think, I think, so you know some of them that sometimes because they want to go to school, you might be able to take a loan. And then you cannot, sometimes you might not be able to be released by your facility. So I got an opportunity there. We were supposed to be a 110,000, yes, which is, I find, training, one year, of which sometimes I find it not fair. Oh, I, me, I was from the private sector. We are serving the same people of Kenyan government. And the part, I'm not, I had to quit the job. Mm -hmm. to pay the whole amount of fee, that is 110,000. And here I'm in a class with a person who is working in the government facility and they were paying 60,000. No, it, it, it's not, it's not uh, because of uh, government. But, I think because yeah. the year you were in school is the same year I was doing my, my, my basic diploma. Yeah. It is because you came in as a parent student yeah. and the others came in as government sponsored. So. The, the colleges who are getting the enough number government sponsored, mm. like us who are paying 50,000 per year, and there's a parent student who government is not sponsoring, they pay 110. What is that a discrepancy? Because you see now, like now, I'm going to, this nurse, this staff is going to finish the critical care as a parallel, and then it's going to be employed by the, by the same government. But, so, 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 but even in university, there was parallel, and the, the parallel you went for KU and the regular were paying all And remember the now, I'm, after paying this one 10,000, yeah. I'm not entitled for the food. I'm not supposed yes, to. Yes, you are parent student. You were in school the same year, you were parent student, you suffered, and you finished. <laughs> it shaped your life. Uh -huh. <laughs> there was this lady who was from the government. Uh -huh. eh? She used to give her milk card to me. Yeah, so I used to have milk that. card. We used, to, we used to do that. Okay. Like, as who had something else to do, we used to give parent students meal cut to you. Yeah, you see now, then after that, I was able to finish my, my MTC. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I'm now still thinking, I've known everything now. I think life is a journey. I think, is. I think life is a journey. Mm -hmm. Now, I finished nursing. I thought I'm now the doctor. Could be I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything. Continuously. Now doors just so, open. Yeah, so now I decided now which facility I'm going to go. I thought because of my nature of my lifestyle, let me choose Arakan University Hospital. Here in ICU now. Mm. Given patient. Handle the patient. Now I'm just I'm in trade, but now I cannot be able to handle this patient. I need mentorship. I need mentorship. I need somebody who is going to guide me. Who are the, the things you are supposed to, to translate to do. knowledge to, to practice? practice. Very hard on me. So, <laughs> yes, <it has. laughs> so but, you, but you are a manager. Yeah, manager. So, <laughs> you hard on juniors. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, it's a cycle. Yes, it's a cycle. It was very hard on me. 
and I thought this manager doesn't like me, even I was to quit. But the same manager recommended me to do the reno dialysis. I did wow. that. I was taken for a one month course for reno dialysis, reno replacement therapy. Mm -hmm. And I now became the mentor of the stars in ICU to mm -hmm. be able to do. However, I was junior, but she chose me. You know why? When somebody is hard on you, there's something in you they need to pluck. Yes. If there's nothing good in you, why will I be hard? Why will I be stressed with your life? No problem. And also, you'll not be able to no. move away. So you, you are now the mentor at um, oh, the facility uh, of yes. Reno replacement? Yes, in ICU, in ICU. connecting with them. Mm -hmm. Because I remember, and the reason she sent me, mm -hmm. she sent me to Reno, there was, and I will not forget, there was a patient who was 85 years of age, and I remember she was in bed three of ICU, in the old ICU, for those who know Aga Khan, the old ICU. Mm -hmm. And this patient, I was, there, I was two days old in ICU, and this patient was supposed to be done dialysis. And it was supposed to be started at six, yeah. But because I did not know how to do the dialysis, now the manager comes in the morning and says, the Simon, is not done. why did you not do the dialysis? I don't know. Who was your mentor? I don't want to say because I don't do to be seen as a traitor. But, but why didn't you do it though? I did not know. Why didn't you ask? We already had an emergency that morning, but the person who was mentoring me, say, they told me, we are going to handle, to handle the patient. In the, in the but you know in nursing, the, the, like, he was taking care of his patient, so this is yours, you, you are responsible so she, But this was, I was attached to her. But this is your patient. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. I thought we are working as a team. So the manager comes in the morning and says, Simon, why did you not do the dialysis? Mm -hmm. I, I thought, so we said we are going to, in my heart, eh? so we said we are going to hand over. Yeah, nothing is a hard She so told me, we are not going to go home till we start this dialysis. What? And to stay there, and to stay there. You, you are coming back at night? Yes, oh and to stay there, and to stay there, but we, they started the analysis. What time did you start the analysis? It was around 11, 11 that. And you are coming back at night? Yes. So then after that, I finished my night, then I was to be taken to, now in the Reno unit, training. I was trained in the Reno unit, so I came back. Um, then we continued to live, and now I, I was now started becoming the team leader in the unit. And then you get confident, confident and then issues began and training, to be Asking questions, uh, doing uh, other investigation for the patient. So I became yes. now, I became now the pro aware. The professor. Of, yes, now. I became I the professor. I see you, the, you know, yes. the all those things. Then after that, she also still recommended me I think, as you are saying, eh, she had found something good yeah. in me. Even me, I pluck it. Yeah. That is me also. And I was taken as a clinical nurse instructor. Wow. By then, I did not know even how to use the, the computer. I don't know how, know how to prepare the PowerPoint presentation. No, I did not know how to, pre to even do the, the proposal. So it's another challenge. I now. think, let me address nurses. Nurses, young nurses, senior nurses, and everything. Nurses, we've got this tendency of, of putting technology, computer things at the back seat. Yes. Like we are so much into this routine, yes. uh, motor activities. You are a very good renal nurse, but technology, we don't have many nurses coming out, teaching, doing presentations of PowerPoint and, and doing, uh, uh, what was it? Educating people, doing PowerPoints, and even speaking up things about nursing and all those things. So you are sent to train and you have no idea. I don't have an idea. And you are the clinical instructor. Yes. But you see now, but you see training, you don't need to use the computer. You can train Nobody it. trains you to use a computer exactly mm. people have gone to computer mm. science. So I was, I was mentoring them verbally. I did not use them. Then after that, I found it as challenge. I knew how to do how to do PowerPoint presentation uh, presentations. I know how to learn. Wow. It's a new job. So life is like a challenge. Whenever you get another opportunity, it's a challenge for you. And 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 the people should desire for another challenge. Yes. So whenever you think you have gotten it now, it's another challenge. So here I am, CNI clinical nurse instructor. People are looking at the nurses in the hospital. They are looking at me. Presentations. Doing verbal. A verbal. I had to do learning, PowerPoint presentations. 
I wrote a proposal. I wrote a proposal. We need TOTs. We need for this hospital to be able to grow. We need TOT trainers of trainees. Yes, it it, it passed, and then that proposal we want to be trained. We were trained um, and quite a number of people, and then from that we are trained how to be able to do present, do presentations, PowerPoint presentations, how to teach adults. Uh, I found that we need also dissertation courses. They are key in yes, emergency. Yes, yes, yes. So I wrote another proposal where we are. The hospital was supposed to be certified for BLS, ACLS training institutions. So you registered and I had not been trained. You see now, you have to put things eh, for you to be able to benefit. No, you are an ICU critical care nurse. Yes. I thought it's part of BLS and ACLS. Yes, but you see now, I want to train. Now you have to be trained how to train. How to train. How to train now other healthcare workers. Now you are a trainer of ACLS, BLS. ACLS, BLS. So okay. and then that one went through, and then after that. 2014, after staying there for two years, the pandemic of the uh, pandemic of Ebola in West Africa came up. You went to West Africa. You so, really gone. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so now, hey, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. I have loans in the bank. I have loans in the bank. I cannot be able to clear them. Eh? I applied for Ebola. Were yes. On a on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday, around 10 a.m., I received a call from the U.S. Are you Simon? You are supposed you applied for to go to Liberia for Ebola that is under IOM, and you are supposed to be traveling on Friday. That's Wednesday. Yes. Are you ready or not? Were you ready though? They told me, if you are ready, you want your passport, scan it, send it to us. Send it to us, and so that we can be able to give you an interim travel ticket. I said, no problem. But you have not resigned. No, I said, no problem. My issue was, I went first of all to see the contract. I did not even read the contract. My interest was the money. I thought, eh, hey, quite an amount of money in dollars. Contract of how long? It was supposed to be three months, renewal. I said, I'm going to go for it. I go to the MPSA now. They now they said I went to medical checkup. I fill in the medical checkup. I go now to my CEO. It was a very good friend of mine, and I told him now. I'm going to go to West Africa. Ebola. I did not tell her about Ebola. I'm going for training in infectious diseases. Mauba. I did not that, uh, mention uh, mention Ebola. I said uh, Mauba, hemorrhagic fevers, and maybe also Ebola. She said, no problem. You go for how long? We are still going to maintain your position as long as you are going to promise us. You are going to come back. Me, yeah, I went in West Africa. We treated the patient. I was working on an Ebola treatment unit as a nurse. We treated the patients. And then after that, for six months, and then we come back. I went back to MPSHA. I worked for three months. I was called again for rehabilitation cell health facilities in Liberia again. By now, I am seeing international medical corps. I had to go back. Remember my then when I was working, sorry to take you back, when I was working at Elbisha, I was still working as a local nurse in ICU at uh, Coptic Hospital. I was still as a local nurse. I was you were a senior nurse trainer yes. at one facility. Yes. Then you are doing locum uh, yes. in another facility. Yes, in ICU. So what time do you do that? Because night, weekends? Night. Then you go back to day duty? Yes. Okay. Then after that, I, I came back. I came back. Uh, and then 2013, mm -hmm. uh, we came back. And then 2013, since then, 
I started working at a uh, Coptic ICU. Mm -hmm. And there I started now, I was selected to be the IPC focal person, mm -hmm. clinical nurse instructor. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we continued. Do you know the time of pandemic? That is COVID 19. We had to open the isolation department. And, that's where and I have to be able to manage it. And that is where I am at the moment, working in COVID center mm -hmm. uh, in Central Coptic Hospital. Wow, that is the story of one very ambitious nurse called Simon. That is the story of so many nurses in this country. And you realize if you have a strong desire, hard working capabilities, you will not miss a chance. Trust you me, you will not miss to identify where you fit in. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment down below, don't forget to share, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And let's meet again with Simon where he will explain more about the COVID center and what is COVID. Thank you, thank you, and bye-bye.